John Taylor, and I'm the regional sales manager for Tesla Motors for the Pacific Northwest. And I came to work for Tesla because it was an opportunity to do something that feasibly can change the world. Tesla was started with the belief that we could build a pure electric automobile that would do 250 miles on a single charge, uh, because electric cars really are where we need to go. Uh, stop our dependence on foreign oil, good for the environment, a lot of different reasons. Uh, the driving experience is an interesting one with Tesla. It's um, When I was a little kid, I had a slot car machine or a game. I don't know if you did, but uh, that's a lot what it's like because it's uh, the, one of the easiest things to compare it to is if you pick up an electric drill and you, you put your finger on the trigger of that electric drill, the chuck starts to spin. The harder you pull it, the faster the chuck spins, and it's instant. Same thing with the Tesla. And so the biggest surprise that people get is the incredible acceleration. Now, the car goes zero to 60 in under four seconds. Uh, it's Ferrari fast with no noise. It's, it's almost disconcerting. Um, people are, are blown away by it on a regular basis. We have this, uh, this joke when we take somebody out for a test drive, we refer to it as the Tesla smile when they come back because they're always grinning ear to ear. They always think this is just the greatest thing in the world. Um, it's, it's unlike any other automobile I've ever driven. I've driven everything under the sun just about and I've never experienced this. You go along at 50 miles an hour on the freeway and because that torque is always there, you go along at 50 miles an hour on the freeway and you drop your foot on the gas or on the accelerator, excuse me, and it goes, and it goes instantly. You go past somebody and you're there now. It's, there's no delay. The internal combustion engines tend to have a high range of, or high amount of torque very early on, which is great because that's what gets you from zero to 60, is torque is what gets you there and horsepower is what keeps you there. The difference is that with an electric motor, you go all the way out to eight or nine or 10,000 RPM before you see any significant drop off in torque. It's a very flat torque curve. The next model we have that uh, has already gotten a fair amount of press is called the Model S. <clears throat> the Model S is a seven passenger, which is five adults and two rear-facing child seats sedan. Um, similar in size to a BMW 5 Series or Mercedes-Benz E-Class, uh, designed to compete in that market. Um, it's going to be the preeminent luxury sedan out there on the market at that point. There's 6,831 lithium-ion cells in the car, uh, and they are essentially the same thing that powers your laptop. Uh, they're in bricks, and then the bricks are in packs, and they're in sheets in the, in the car. We can take the battery out of the car uh, and work on it here. Um, you know, we can replace just single cells that have gone bad, which is kind of the cool thing, and the fact that it's recyclable. On the battery itself, we use a propylene glycol cooling fluid that runs through the, through the battery constantly. Um, even if the car's just sitting, it's still generating energy, or, or, and so the energy heats up the battery, and so it's constantly being cooled. It's one of the things people, we pop the front hood of the car, and people look at it and go, why is there a radiator there? the radiators to cool the battery fluid. But then we also, the, me, the motor also has uh, two separate cooling fans and an induction fan into, that runs air into it and then runs out through the splines. Well, we don't really have a transmission. It's really just a small step down. It's really just a gearbox because a, tr a transmission in the traditional sense has multiple gears to manage the speed where we have a single, we have a single speed gearbox that, uh, and when you want to go backwards, there is no reverse. It's you just run the motor backwards. Well, the car is faster than any Porsche on the market right now, except for the 911 Turbo. Uh, it's uh, as one of our clients owns a Carrera GT also, and uh, as he says, Tesla zero to eighty, you'll take my Carrera GT. His Carrera GT is four hundred and fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> you know, our carbon footprint in the long run is considerably smaller than any uh, gas-powered or, or internal combustion car. Uh, you, you know, we produce no emissions whatsoever, except in the building of the vehicle, and then our battery is seventy-five percent recyclable. So you can't say that about anything on a, on a traditional automobile. We have roadside assistance uh, with the car for three years or 36,000 miles, same as the warranty on the car. Uh, we are building out our dealer network fairly quickly. Uh, we are now opening two more stores in the month of December. Uh, we also will be opening two or three more stores in the first quarter of 2010, and then beyond there, the sky's the limit. Uh, everything we have is unique. It's one of the things that's really interesting about the car. And I don't know, what's, what's funny, our CEO doesn't like the word unique. He said it's not necessarily unique, it's just newer and better than the last thing that came along and somebody's going to improve on it. But uh, the long and short of it is that we build, a, uh, we build a car that nobody else builds anything like it. There isn't anything else out there. There is no other electric vehicle on the market that will do 200 plus miles and at reasonable speeds. Keep watching us in the news. There's more coming from Tesla.